Good morning, YouTube, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I did not record uh, me tearing apart the uh, engine for this Beetle. Um, I was trying to just hurry up and get this thing torn apart so I could see what was going on with it. But I'll show you what I found in the head. Um, I went ahead and bought a used head from uh, somebody on Facebook Marketplace off a 2001 A4. Um, I'll have to change out the secondary air and uh, adapter for, on the back of the head. I'll have to change out the water neck. Uh, but the head itself is basically the same. So, uh, just got done cleaning the engine last night. Um, removed all the old, uh, removed the water pump, the power steering, alternator, AC bracket, uh, removed the time belt, front time and cover, and uh, basically cleaned the entire block, uh, cleaned the top of the pistons, oiled the cylinder walls after I washed it so that it wouldn't rust overnight. Um, just got done wiping the oil out of the cylinders and now I'm getting ready to put the motor back together. So I'll flip the camera around and show you what I got going on. So I went ahead and tore apart the motor on the uh, Beetle and I didn't film it because I was trying to get it done. And I've discovered what happened and it is just like I thought. Every one of the valves hit the freaking pistons. They're bent. Every one of these valves right here is bent. Um, I don't know if there's any other ones bent, but it doesn't matter because these are bent. So I was going to get this head rebuilt, but instead I went and bought a new head or not a new head, but a used head. Um, so I'm going to be putting this head onto this block. The pistons are good. We've been cleaning it. Um, I've already ordered, I've already ordered and received the head gasket kit time belt kit should be here tomorrow and i'm going to go ahead and put new uh all new gaskets on the entire engine new water pump new time belt new time belt tensioner uh idler pulley all that stuff uh, i'm going to replace the crankshaft or the crankcase vent tube because it broke off when i was taking it out uh, they get real brittle in here and they just break so i'm going to have to chip all this old plastic out of there and uh get that cleaned up so that I can put a new vent in there. But we've been cleaning the motor. Everything looks good. Uh, everything came apart really smooth. So now I just need to, uh, I need to finish cleaning in here. I'm gonna try and clean the front of the crankcase up a little bit and get a little bit more of this grease off the side of it. And once I get it cleaned up a little bit more, then I'm gonna start putting the new head on there, new gaskets, new, uh, I don't have the water pump, I won't have it until tomorrow, but I can go ahead and put the head on. I can put the intake manifold on, the exhaust manifold, get everything bolted up except for the freaking uh, timing. And I just won't put the valve cover on until I get the timing done. So I got my son out here cleaning his engine. This is, this engine's gonna get rebuilt for the Audi because he is officially old enough to uh, have his learner's permit he'll have his full license next year. So I'm making him build his engine. So uh, while we were cleaning the 1.8T for the Beetle, I went ahead and had him clean the uh, 27 for the uh, Audi. We're gonna do a completely fresh motor on it. Um, I don't know if we're gonna do the um, bottom end because this, this motor's only got like 80,000 miles on it. But we're going to do a uh, fresh top end, and then we're going to uh, put different turbos on it and replace all the hoses, fix all the wiring issues and things of that nature. So, But I'm not going to be doing any videos on that car. Uh, that's officially my son's car. I mean, I'm going to keep driving it until next year when he gets his full license. But once he gets his full license, that's his car. So I've got the head cleaned up, uh, cleaned up all the tops of the pistons. Um cleaned up the block itself got water pumps out uh took this bracket off cleaned the entire thing uh the crankcase vent tube broke uh so i got to buy a new crankcase vent tube but no big deal i'm gonna go ahead and assemble everything that i can on this thing and get it as far as possible see if i can find one of those crankcase vent tubes today so we'll get into All right, it so the head that i bought is a little bit different than the one that uh was on the car the one that was on the car had studs for this water outlet um the other head does not so i'm having to remove these bolts and the way you do it is you just put two jam nut two uh take the two nuts that were on here turn one of them backwards tighten them down against each other and then you
turn the back wrench and it'll pull the bolt out. So I've got both of these nuts tightened down against each other. So now what I'm gonna do is just put the wrench on the back nut and then turn it. And that stud should come out. But that's how you get those studs to remove. And then when you go to put it back in, you just turn it in with the front one. All right, guys. So I wasn't able to get the engine uh, all the way assembled yesterday because Amazon didn't deliver my freaking package again. Um, I paid for expedited shipping. Like I freaking done the last like eight orders and the last eight orders have all been late. When I don't pay for freaking expedited shipping, the stuff shows up a day early, but I paid extra to have the shit shipped here the next day and it's not here. So I'm really aggravated with freaking Amazon right now because like I said, the last six months, every freaking time I order something from them, I pay for expedited shipping and the shit is never on time. It's usually a day or two late and I paid an extra 20 to 50 bucks for shipping and then they offer me a $5 freaking credit thinking they're doing me some damn favor. I'm about to stop ordering from Amazon for that reason alone. But anyway, since I wasn't able to get the timing belt onto the motor, I've been out here uh, adjusting some cars, uh, trying to get some things squared away. So um, flip the camera around and show you what so I've been I doing. I finally got my gantry crane, went ahead and lowered my beetle down to the ground. Um, I hope that's where that thing's going to sit when I get the chassis back underneath it. Uh, right now it's just sitting on four by fours. But I'm hoping when I get the chassis up here with the uh, air rod completely done, that that's where that thing's going to sit when it rides. But this gantry crane is uh, really freaking nice. Uh, it'll, it'll raise up another uh, like foot and a half or two foot from where it is now. Um, but I'm going to be using the crap out of that thing. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up the Genesis and uh, get all the jack stands out from underneath it, and I'm gonna set it flat on the ground. And then I'm gonna use the crane to uh, start picking up the Hyundai, uh, the Veloster, and I'm gonna use the crane to hold the Veloster up while I'm doing the rear wheel uh, drive conversion while I'm fitting the gas tank and all that kind of shit, uh, make it a little bit easier to deal with. But I'm also gonna be using that crane to uh, put the motor back into the Beetle. This thing rolls a whole lot easier than my engine stand or my engine lift. So I'm gonna start using this instead of my engine lift. At least until I get some concrete out here, cause this, this gravel and dirt sucks trying to move an engine lift on it. But I think I'm gonna work on cleaning some of this mess up from where I've been tearing all these cars apart and try and get my ports cleaned up and get all the auto parts picked up. But yeah, that's what I've been working on. Uh, been working on Terry's uh, Lexus as well. I'll have a video posted on it this weekend hoping to have the engine in the car in his Lexus tomorrow. And then as you can see, I've got the engine completely back together with the exception of the timing system and the water pump, but I've got everything else on here and the valve cover. But uh, once I get the uh, timing belt and the water pump and stuff from Amazon, I'll be able to put that on, put the front covers on, put the valve cover on, and then this, the, this thing will actually be ready to go back into the car. So I'm hoping to have the Beetle running today if the parts show up. Uh, I'm kind of at the mercy of Amazon now. But get this one built. My son's been working on this 2.7. Um, we're going to build a fresh 2.7 for my son for the for the A4. Uh, the engine that's in it still runs and drives. I mean, there's nothing like wrong with it per se. But I've that motor had 170,000 miles on it when I put it in there. And I've driven about 45,000 miles on that motor. So it's sitting at about 225. So I'm just, I just want to give them a fresh engine. Uh, we're going to do all new gaskets. Um, I'm not going to break the bottom end apart. Uh, like I said earlier, that this, this engine's only got about 80,000 miles on it. But uh, it bent the valves when the time belt broke. So I bought two new heads or two used heads off of eBay. I'm going to clean them up. Regasket the entire motor, new time belt, water pump. Um, I'm gonna replace the. I'm gonna put a fresh clutch in it for him, and I'm. I haven't told him yet, but I think I'm going to do a K04 turbo kit on this thing, give him a little bit more power. I don't know if I should do that since he's a brand new driver, but I mean, it's my son. I love him. I'll do anything for him. So he may be winding up getting a uh, pretty badass freaking motor when I get this thing built and put into the car. 
but with that being said this is all like i said all this is built and ready to go that one it'll be probably another two weeks before i have that one built and then uh i'm just waiting on getting that shit so i can put the beetle back together and then i'll have the veloster torn apart starting probably this week next week um and uh i may start tearing it down tomorrow i don't know yet but i'm gonna work on cleaning some of this stuff up while i'm waiting on uh amazon to get here all right so i've got the engine back in the car got the front end back on it uh the only thing that i have left to hook up is the exhaust uh just got done tightening the cv axles up but when i was putting this thing together i went to pull the air box out and i had it sitting inside the car i went to put it out and pull it out and put it back in the engine compartment and apparently i've got a little friend living inside the car so that was part of it and i i say little jokingly because this thing was freaking big that's only about half of it there's his other half. So that plus that plus there was a bigger piece. I don't know where it is, but I've got the doors open because I want the little sucker to squirrel out of here. Um, because it was actually stuck to the airbox, which tells me that that was recent since I tore the car apart. So there's a rather probably about a three or four foot long snake living inside this car. Kind of freaky. But anyway, got everything back together. Um, I'm going to hook up the exhaust, and then I'm going to top it off with fluids, put the battery back in it, and then uh, try and crank it and see what happens. All right, guys, if you remember during the disassembly, I broke the auxiliary water pump. Uh, the nipple broke off of it when I was trying to disconnect the clamp. It just snapped right off. So I didn't know what I was going to do. I was looking around locally. Nobody has one in stock brand new. And the ones that do are over an hour and a half away, and they're five times the price that I can buy a brand new Bosch off of uh, Amazon for. So I had a spare head. I actually had the whole assembly, but the heads are interchangeable. So I just took the four screws out of the top, changed out the head, and now I have my original uh, auxiliary water pump with a new head, and I'll just freaking pitch this one what's up everybody and uh welcome back to the channel um burning a little bit of midnight oil literally uh it's like 12 30 in the morning um said the other day in one of my videos that my audi was having a uh, charging issues well i replaced the alternator the battery and the battery cable still wouldn't charge wound up taking it back up to uh autozone and having them run their little computer on here and it said that the alternator, the brand new alternator was bad. So went and got another alternator, put it on here, was driving it to work and uh, the freaking water pump failed. And I'm out here trying to fix the water pump. So here, let me flip this around and show you. So luckily the time belt didn't break, but it was getting ready to, uh, it was starting to rip on the cover. So here's where it was ripping apart on the cover. And you can see it's been leaking water like crazy and whenever i pour water into it it pours out of the weep hole for the uh water pump as fast as i pour it into the overflow tank so i'm out here i mean like i said it's it's like freaking midnight 12 30 and uh trying to get this done because the hyundai's dead and i gotta have this car uh, i got the beetle running today um but I don't have it registered or uh, emissions tested done yet, and I still need tires on it, so I still can't drive that car. So I don't have a car right now, so I have to fix this car. So I'm gonna stay out here for a little bit. I'll probably be out here until about 2, 3 a.m. Get this freaking time belt done, get the whole car back together so that I have a car so I can drive around tomorrow. But anyway figured i'd show you that all right so it's the next morning I, when i got to where i saw what was wrong with it i stopped because i wanted to show this in a video but here is a piece of the plastic impeller the plastic impeller exploded and then this is pretty cool so 
so the whole thing is that i'm i'm amazed that the that the time belt didn't snap but that was a plastic impeller this one's a metal impeller so that's the way it's supposed to look so i'm gonna put this new water pump on there put a new time belt on it and uh get her knocked out all right guys so i just got done getting the audi back together uh wound up putting the water pump new timing system on there um <clears throat> i'm waiting on doordash to uh deliver some antifreeze to me um other than that the car's back together ready to rock and roll i almost forgot what i was walking out here for um and then i've got the beetle up and running so i'm gonna take a video and show you how the beetle's running all right so now that the beetle's running i'm gonna start it up show you what's how how good it is running <laughs> but it's running really good really smooth i'm really happy with how it turned out so let's go ahead and sounds really healthy so i'm really pleased with it now I just got to go take it and get emissions done. Oh, well, I got to get tires put on it so that I can drive the stupid thing. And once I get tires on it, then I got to go get emissions and get the tags put on it. But I had the convertible top down. I, I did get it working. Uh, I got to replace the two rear flaps uh, inside the back of the top. They're right here. So both of those flaps are broken. You can see that one sticking up right there. That one's broken, like broke, broke. And then this one's missing the cover. Uh, it's back there. So I gotta replace both of those. But once I get both of those replaced, the top will work the way that it's supposed to. And then I still gotta fix the door check because this window doesn't roll down like it's supposed to. You can see it's all the way up. But this one, when you open the door, if you watch, See, the window drops down so that when you shut the door, the window goes inside the window seal. So, yeah. But anyway, this thing's ready to rock and roll. So now I'm going to replace the rear bumper and then put tires on it and probably put brakes on it. And then the next video that you see on this car will be replacing the seat uh, covers. I'll completely rebuild the seats. All right, guys. So I got the Beetle running and I got the Audi back running. Um... Audi's running great. Uh, I'm going to keep driving it. Now that I got the Beetle running, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it registered and insured and uh, get new tires put on it, and new brakes, and replace the rear bumper and all that. So, anyway, um, that's a quick update of what's going on with the Beetle. Beetle's good to go. Um, Audi's good to go again, uh, even though I had to pull. Uh, pretty late night last night i was out here until 2 a.m so um but yeah later today i'm gonna be putting the 1uz in the lexus and uh getting it set up and get that video posted and then i'm gonna start or i'm gonna continue to work on the veloster tomorrow i'm gonna work on it all day tomorrow so really hope you all enjoy that uh i hope you enjoyed this video if this helped you out in any way please like always like comment share subscribe let your friends see what i'm doing and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great one.